Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. King at history hit and Danny, Dan Snow. Okay, we're doing some history matters videos. I lined a few up. There we go. Really great. Why wasn't guys? the British this Empire ruled impressive. by a British Emperor? I think I know the answer to this. Hold great on. Dispel. Sorry. I think I know the answer to this. Empire. It's something to do with. It's something to do with. Maybe I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go. When someone rules an empire, they know. Um, I just woke. I'm. <clears throat> my name's Connor. I like to learn. Phones away. Even if you're watching on one, toss it. And if you are not ready to learn, you're in the wrong class. Home ec is down the hall. Unless you want to just sit in the back and chill, that's fine. Yeah, original link, top description, Discord below that. I'm waking up. Let's go. Why wasn't British Empire ruled by a British Emperor? I, I knew this. I just forgot. Normally take the title Emperor. When someone rules an empire, they normally take the title Emperor or Empress. Yet, despite having a pretty chunky empire, the British monarchs chunky. were never styled as the British Emperor or Empress. Which raises the question, why? Why wasn't the British Empire ruled over by a British Emperor? Now, it's important to note that most emperors didn't simply convert their title from that of a king. Many had adopted it on top of their previous titles, and others did so after major change in government. Furthermore, it often claims to be the continuation of a previous imperial title. Britain never had any of this, and so there was no pretext to change the royal title, when their role and the type of government that they led was the same as always. In fact, uh, Queen Victoria... Like, it was a bad look to have the title in England, so she had it in India. I think that's... When there was a major royal title, when their role and the type of government that they led was the same as always. In fact, when there was a major change by the monarch, that of Henry VIII declaring England's separation from the Catholic Church, it was written into law that England was effectively, from that point onwards, an empire, and that Henry and all of his successors would carry the rights and status of emperors, but would simply use the title of king instead. Another reason was... So Huh? ...of a real title when their role and the type of government that they led was the same as always. In fact, when there was a major change by the monarch, that of Henry VIII declaring England's separation from the Catholic Church, it was written into law that England was effectively, from that point onwards, an empire, okay. and that Henry and all of his successors would carry the rights and status of emperors, but would simply use the title of king instead. Interesting. So the British Empire was born right, right as all of that Henry VIII choppy choppy not like pope stuff but the reason was somewhat more particular to britain you see after the 17th century the british developed an extreme allergic reaction to absolute monarchy and a title like emperor screams i'm a king of kings and thus in charge and won't be sharing much power with anyone which to parliament was a no-no another reason was that britain itself wasn't seen as being some multi-ethnic empire in the same way as austria-hungary was but in the eyes of its rulers britain was a nation of nations who were all equal theoretically at least in practice not so much this is one of the reasons why george the third would offer the title of british emperor ah, in 1801 satan, refused satan. it this is one of satan of the reasons ah no i it's a joke why George III, when offered the title of British Emperor in 1801, refused it. And another was because he was an elector of the Holy Roman Empire at this point. And so an emperor electing another emperor whom he would hold some allegiance to was just a bit silly. This wasn't the last time that the topic of imperial titles would come up. You see, as of the 1870s, there were a lot of emperors in Europe. And the title of emperor outranks that of king or queen. This is the part that I remember. She wanted, so the in upset India... Britain's queen Victoria, who didn't want to be seen as everyone's inferior. At this point, a monarch adopting an imperial title with respect to Britain was unacceptable, and so the sitting Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, offered to give a different imperial title, that of Empress of India. The reason why this was okay was that, one, India was the crown jewel of the empire, and the one which Britain was most proud of. Two, it was made up of many smaller kingdoms and principalities, and so the title could maintain the implication that it meant King of Kings. And three, India and its people weren't seen as being equal to those of Britain, and so absolute rule over them was just fine. But why not extend it to the rest of the empire? Well, much like Britain, places like Canada and Australia had the same anti authority rest of the empire. Well, I noticed something missing, guys. Uh, hmm. Where's America? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, okay. It's early. Much like.
like Britain, places like Canada and Australia. Guys, look, I always bring this up. Look how close they were to being able to walk from Cape Town or from southern, most southern point of Africa to Singapore and never leave the British Empire. Almost. And that's insane. Just you have Iran blocking you. Australia and a bit of uh, Thailand had the same anti-authoritarian position and as for the rest of the places like Canada and Australia had the same anti-authoritarian position and as for the rest of the empire well it wasn't seen as being prestigious enough to warrant the title of emperor there was still opposition to the title <laughs> okay okay so I understand so the re the reason it was emperor they, they the, the way they got the empress title to Queen Victoria I understand now is that so there are so many emperors around her in Europe she wanted the title and so there was a problem between okay well you have some colonies that you know you could call yourself empress of but they're seen as like english or like on your level ethnically which is uh, um and and they're going to have a have an issue and then you have other places where you don't think they're worthy of like being called an empress of whatever. And then India just like hits that sweet spot for them where it's like, ah. Did I explain that right? Well, it wasn't seen as being prestigious enough to warrant the title of emperor. There was still opposition to the title from many liberal politicians, but it was brought into force in 1876. And Victoria's <laughs> successors would all thereafter be emperors of India until its independence in 1947. Get out. Which is why Britain and the British Empire didn't have an emperor, but only one part of it, India, did, and for just over 70 years. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching. With thank you for making. Awesome as always. I love this Special. channel. Oh, post emptive like. I should have done preemptive. Alrighty, guys. Hope you're all doing well. If not, chin up. You'll be good soon. Trust me. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.